Greetings and welcome to another episode of Trippy Food. Today we're going to do something a little different. I say that all the time, but this is a little bit different. So today we found in the grocery store, this was in Ralph's, which is our local Kroger store, we found Slater's 50-50 beef and bacon hot dogs. Now, for those who don't know about Slater's 50-50, is Slater's 50-50 started out as a burger joint. It started out in Anaheim, California in 2009. It was started by Scott Slater. And their, their whole thing has always been 50% bacon. So uh, their burgers were always 50% ground beef, 50% bacon. Now, if you've ever been to one of their shops or one of their you know, restaurants, the burgers are really, really good. And they're usually very, very interesting and innovative on how they actually make the burgers. So they can provide some really, really unusual and interesting burgers. But again, every burger they sell is 50% bacon and 50% ground beef. And so now they've done that with the hot dog. So my understanding is if you go into one of the restaurants, you can also get the hot dog like that. These are relatively new. I've just seen these recently. Now, Slater's 50-50, the restaurants I've seen, uh, I, I think they're in four different states. So they started out here in California, Southern California. So they have a bunch of them in the California area. They have, I think, one in Denver, if I'm not mistaken, somewhere in Colorado. They have two in Nevada and they have, um, I think, one in Hawaii. So those are the only four states, very Western states. They don't have anything in Oregon or Washington yet. So it's still a West Coast thing, but if you get a chance and you're nearby one of those, definitely go out and check one out and, and grab a burger. So we're gonna try these hot dogs for the first time. Now, the, the funny thing is, is after I bought this and I started reading the label, I realized that it is produced by or distributed by Bar S Foods, which is really funny because Bar S Foods is usually like a discount uh, brand of you know hot dogs and stuff. So you'll find those at dollar stores, bar S. And the thing is, I think they're underrated because actually they're 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 actually pretty good. I think their their basic hot dogs aren't that great. My guess is that they're using them as the manufacturing facility to make these uh, hot dogs because I've never seen a bar S hot dog that had bacon in it. So I'm guessing these are going to be actually pretty good. Now the thing is, when you cook this. These are not cooked. So most hot dogs that you buy in the store are gonna be already cooked and you just have to heat them up, find somebody to eat these up. These are not cooked. So there's, there's cooking directions uh, on the stovetop, medium heat, brown until five. We, we put them on the grill, we just did the grill. But uh, it says 10, uh, 10 to 12 minutes because the meat is not cooked. You wanna make sure that it's 165 degrees inside, at least 165 degrees in the middle to make sure that it's fully cooked. So if you don't have a meat thermometer, you need to get one because it, it's going to prevent a lot of heartache later on down the road. So uh, here is my dog. It's been grilled. It looks grilled. And I thought about like, what do I want to put on this? I think what I'm going to do is my first bite, I think is just going to be just uh, by itself. And then I'm going to add yellow mustard to it. But I don't want to really put anything else on it. Once I taste it, then I'll know that like next time I make it, what, what do I want to put on that? I, these are quarter pound hot dogs. They're pretty big for these rolls. And so a standard hot dog roll is kind of like small for this. I mean, it's, it, it holds it, it's okay. But I would recommend that you get like a sausage roll or something like that, you know, cut the sausage roll open, be able to put it in a sausage roll because uh, something this large kind of demands a larger roll or a larger you know, holding device as it were. So we're just gonna go ahead and take a bite of this just like it is and, uh, and see what that tastes like. Now, the bacon must be finely blended in. You really can't see, you know, bits of bacon in there. I think it may have an artificial casing on it. The reason I say that is because when I grilled it, the casing just kind of like melted off or burnt off or heated off. So now it has no casing. I was expecting this overwhelming bacon flavor that doesn't, it doesn't really have that. There's that underlying hot dog taste. It's a decent hot dog. It's a really good hot dog. It's not like, you know, mealy or mushy or um, anything else. Um, there's a certain amount of spice to it. So ingredients, hickory smoked bacon. Well, beef is, beef is half. Hickory smoked ba bacon is half, cured with water. Uh, less than 2% of salt, sugar, smoke flavor. Let's see what else. Uh, cooked bacon bits. There's like three different kinds of bacon in there. More smoke flavoring, salt, sugar, 
corn syrup, modified food starch. That's about it. It tastes like I'm tasting spices in there, but that really doesn't doesn't specify any you know any spices. I think it's going to give it a kick. It doesn't specify anything in there. That is really good. It's a really good hot dog. Um, it, you definitely get the smoke flavor. You definitely get that bacon flavor, but it's not overpowering. So it's it's it, it's not crazy. So it, it doesn't taste like a bacon wrapped hot dog. It doesn't, you don't you don't have that 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 kick of bacon, but it's still really good. So let's try it. Let's put a little mustard on that and see what it tastes like. Cheers. Yeah, that's good. I wouldn't go crazy on this. You know what? Ketchup on your hot dog? Yeah, go ahead and put ketchup on that. It's not my bag. What I would what I would put on this, I think. I think this might go really nice if you grill some onions and jalapenos. Grill them onions, jalapenos, some mustard and everything. Perfect. These are really good. Again, I didn't know what to expect. I got them from a Kroger store. They are made by Bar S, but they are very good. Thumbs up. Kind of reminds me that I need to get back into a Slater's 50-50. Yeah, really good. Thumbs up. So, you decide you want to go to the grocery store, buy these, make them yourself. Kudos to you. There's a Slater's 50-50 nearby you. Get out there. They have the hot dogs there. Give them a try. Either way, just remember that it's crazy out there. So please be careful. Take care of yourselves, take care of others, and we'll see you soon. Thanks for checking out Trippy Food. If you enjoyed watching that video half as much as I did making it, well then I enjoyed it twice as much as you did. And if that's the case, you'll probably like this video right here. And if not, check out this video right here. That one's a little bit different. Either way, leave a comment down below. And be sure to subscribe by clicking on the Trippy Food icon right here. Glad you could make it, and we hope to see you again soon.